In this last lesson, you will use SQL to solve recursive problems of mathematics. You are going to solve the problems which you solve in every programming course when you are learning about recursion. These two mathematical problems are the following. Firstly, we simply count numbers from 1 to the defined termination condition. The second problem is to calculate the sum of potences. For each problem, the recursive definition is provided and explained. Each problem is defined by an initialization step and the recursive step. Moreover, for all problems, a pseudocode definition is provided, which is an informal high-level description of the operating principle of the query. The pseudocode uses the structural convention for the use of SQL, but is intended for human readings rather than machine readings. The first problem is to count from 1 to the termination condition. This problem could be defined by the initialization of a number with 1 for the first iteration. For all following iterations, 1 is added to this number until the termination condition is met. A pseudocode looks as follows. You have to define the initial query and the recursive query according to the definition of the recursive function. This can be demonstrated for an example. You can simply need to add 1 each iteration. For four iterations, this leads to 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 with a final result of 4. The next problem is the sum of potences. As in the previous example, the number for the first iteration is initialized with 1. For the next steps, you calculate the number of the iteration with the power of the iteration and add this value to the previous number. You do this until the termination condition is met. A pseudocode for this example looks as follows. You have to define the initial query and the recursive query according to the definition of the recursive function. For example, for three iterations, you calculate the sum of 1 plus 2 to the power of 2 and 3 to the power of 3. The result is then 14. Now you know how two mathematical problems could be described by recursive functions. The task is now to solve these problems with recursive CTEs. These tasks are uncommon for using databases but demonstrates very well the principles of recursion. Keep in mind that you will always have to define the nth member representing the initialization step and the recursive member representing the recursive step.